print time. Forty years ago, I was a little kid, and I had this little Lego stuff, right? The technical Lego, the gears and stuff. Oh my God, it was the most amazing thing ever. Because you could like make working things, and I got some little motors and like, like attached them with rubber bands so I could like make moving things and stuff. And it was so awesome, except for one problem. This, I hope the focus can get this, this little gear here. Because the, oh, it drove me nuts, even when I was a little kid. Like the wall around this is so skinny. These would break so easily, right? And I always thought, why don't they just make like a solid disc around at least one end? Like really a solid disc around both ends would make this so much stronger, right? But I was thinking, well, well then they're gonna have to make a fancy mold that comes off, off all the different sides, but they could at least make, make the disc on one side to make it stronger on one side and still be able to pull it out of a mold easily, right? So I'm a little kid and they're selling these things and I'm like, they must have rushed that through or something. The next Lego set's gonna have, gonna have like, like reinforced one of these, better ones, right? 40 years have gone by and they're still the same garbage. And then, I don't know how many years ago, instead of like fixing this, they just came out with like a different set of gears. And they don't have one this small, but this is so useful, ah! Okay, so yesterday I was like, all right, that's it, I'm fixing this crap. So I got a CAD file of one of these. It was actually an STL file, which I'm not gonna go into the details of how annoying it is to try to backwards work a STL file. <laughs> Couldn't get the dimensions off it or anything. No, no, stop. Anyway, I, I got it pretty close to the right size and then just kept reducing it till I got down to like, this one fits really, really good. Now check it out. Well, you probably saw in the CAD drawing, it's got the, it's got solid around the ends and it's got the gear teeth in the middle. So strong, super strong. And then if you put it right next to this one, I mean, you obviously have to pull it out a bit to get it in there. Oh, so good, so good. And then I had to check with this guy to make sure it's nice and smooth, no resistance. These bigger ones were just a little bit clinky, but this one is, this one is perfect. And this one is just a little bit too tall. So I just shaved off a bit on the top and the bottom. And the one I'm 3D printing right now should be the right size. You're welcome, Lego. Yes, guys aren't, aren't doing your job right. Oh my gosh, it's almost done, it's almost done, it's almost done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost done. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get that one. This one on. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. oh, it's perfect. Oh my god. Oh, can I go back in time and send this to my eight year old self? Oh my god, I would have gone crazy. Oh, so good. Oh my god. You guys don't understand how amazing this is. What? Oh, it's so good. A bunch of I don't think I could possibly explain to you guys how awesome this is. Um, where? Oh, so good, so good. Let's see, let's get one of these over here. Oh my gosh, so, so awesome. 
Oh, what's so awesome? Oh, so good. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. What's so awesome about oh, this? You don't. Oh. You should start playing with this kind of Lego and you will know exactly what I'm talking about when you start. Well, you won't because you have these fancy gears now. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I need to go do something. <laughs> okay, my print settings are 100% infill. 0.1 layer 0 0.1 millimeter layer height and I'm printing one object individually before it goes on to the next one which is why I could only fit a few on here I mean if it did them all one layer at a time I could fit like a hundred on here okay before 150 people ask I'm putting this up on Thingiverse which is where it is right now however I just signed up which was a pain in the butt and it won't let me publish something for 24 hours. So if you see this before it's published, it'll, I'll publish it as soon as I can. And I'll put a link to my thing, my Thingiverse thing, down in the description there. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are like two cents a piece. Oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. So I'm going to print some more right now. Oh, let's just do it. Let's. Oh, yeah. Oh, go for it. Oh, yeah, do it, baby.